Uh, hello everybody. So in this session of the class, we will see how to uh, draw the root locals for different examples. In the first example, we have a first order system. As you can see here, GP is equal to 1 over S plus 1, so we have uh, 1 pole at minus 1. The GC or controller is set to be equal to KP. And you want to draw the locus for this simple system. Okay, so this is our system. We will have two graphs, one for negative locus and another one for the positive locus. First of all, we have only one pole here, so n is equal to 1. And accordingly, we will have only one branch for positive locus and one branch for negative locus. m is equal to 0. We don't have any 0. And accordingly, r, which is equal to n minus m, is equal, equal to 1. So we have uh, one asymptote. For this asymptote, we can find xa and kca. xa is equal to sum of zi's minus sum of pi's divided by n minus m. Here we, ha we don't have any zero, so it's zero minus, we have only one pole which is equal to 1 divided by n minus m, which is 1, so we will have minus 1 as xa. And for kca, we will have 2h plus 1 times pi and 2h times pi, where h is equal to 0, because we have only one asymptote. This is for positive locus, this is for negative locus. And therefore, we will have KCA equal to, replacing H with 0, we will have pi for positive locus, and we will have 0 for negative locus. Okay, and here we have uh, XA. Now we can draw the asymptotes. I will use green color for that. But prior to that, we just need to determine the location of the poles and zeros of the open loop system on our root locus. We have only one pole at minus one. So this will be the location of our pole. Okay. Now I want to draw the asymptotes that we have. Xa is equal to minus one and the angle of the asymptote is equal to pi in the case of positive locus so we will start from here and we will go towards negative infinity and we have asymptote starting at minus 1 and going towards infinity with, the, with an angle of 0 for the negative locus so this will be our asymptote Afterwards, we need to determine what is the parts of the real axis which belong to our root locus. So I go to the next page. And the real axis for a positive locus we, we know that the parts of the real axis in which there are odd number of poles and zeros belong to the uh, root locus for the case of positive locus and the sections of real axis in which there are even number of poles and zeros belong to the negative locus. So by looking here at the location of the poles in the root locus uh, in the S plane for the root locus we see that for the positive locus 
from minus infinity to minus 1 would belong to positive locus and for uh, negative locus the locations from minus 1 till plus infinity will belong to the root locus of the system so in the case of positive locus we have from minus infinity to minus 1 because there are only one there is only one pole on the right hand side and for the negative locus it's from minus 1 to infinity because there is always zero which is an even number uh, pole on the right hand side so if you go back to here we can uh, draw I will draw it with the red line so this will be the position of the the part of the real axis which belong to our uh, root locus in the case of PL and for NL we will have this section of the real axis okay so our poles will start, uh, the, our branches will start from the open loop poles. In the case of positive locus, it will start from here and it will go towards negative in infinity on the real axis. And in the case of the negative locus, it will start from minus 1 and it will go towards plus infinity on the real axis. We can determine the angle of departure for the pole so if you write it here alpha of departure we have only one pole and the angle of departure for the pole is equal to the sum of phi i's minus sum of theta i's plus to h plus 1 times pi where h is equal to 0 and this is for positive locus and we will have sum of phi i minus sum of theta i plus 2 h pi for h equal to 0 and this is for negative locus but in this case we have only one pole so phi i's and theta i's are equal to 0 and the alternative of a departure is equal to by setting h to 0 it will be equal to pi in the case of positive locus and it will be equal to 0 in the case of negative locus okay and this is what we already have in our uh, root locus drawing here yeah? so this is all that we have uh, in this case we don't have uh, actually we don't have any break in point and the break away point as well because we have only one pole uh, for the open loop system so let's see what is the question that we have uh, regarding this root locus uh, compute if possible the value of kp such that given the step response of the closed loop system settling time for 5% is equal to 0.3 seconds so this is a first order system and we can say that the settling time for 5% interval is uh, almost equal to 3 times the time constant and we want this value to be equal to 0 0.3 seconds and from here we can say that time constant of the system should be equal to 0 0.1 this means that we need to have a pole if I call it P1 we need to have the pole located at minus 10 so in order to find the value of KP for which we have so this is P1 we need to find the value of the kp for which our pole will be located at this place at minus 10 so for that we need to write the magnitude condition which says us that ns divided by ds should be equal to minus 1 over rho in terms of the amplitude 
and we can write that ns is equal to 1 all the time and ds is uh, s plus 1 so amplitude of 1 over s plus 1 should be equal to amplitude of minus 1 over rho and since s is equal to minus 10 in this case we can write 1 mi over minus 10 plus 1 which is 1 over minus 9 should be equal to minus 1 over rho so we can say that rho which is equal to kp in this case should be equal to 9 in terms of the amplitude and on the other hand if we go back here we see that this happens when we have a positive value for it should be somewhere here yeah the, the new location for the pole at minus 10 should be here and this happens whenever we have a positive value for kp so accordingly here we can write that we should have rho which is equal to kp in this case equal to 9 in that case we will have a, uh, 0.3 seconds for the settling time the next question is that find the steady state error to RT when R is equal to ST for the same closed loop system. So in this case, we can say that the, our LS, which is equal to GC times GP, is equal to uh, the obtained kp which we have 9 divided by s plus 1 okay and then from here we need to calculate since our system in this case is this is ls so we can say that our system is of type 0 because we don't have any 0 at the origin and accordingly the uh, the response to the step or the step response of the system will have the steady state error which is equal to steady state value of error is equal to 1 divided 1 plus kp where kp is equal to limit of ls when s goes towards 0 And since we have ls equal to 9 divided by s plus 1, from here we, we have kp equal to 9. And by replacing it here, e at infinity will be equal to 1, plus, 1 divided by 1 plus 9, which is 0 0.1. This is the steady, steady state error that we will have uh, for the step response of the system. The next question is that find the range of values of kp in R such that the closed loop system is by boy stable. In order to analyze the stability of the system, I just write the equation that we have, the characteristics equation, and from here we can write ds plus uh, rho times ns equal to 0 by looking back we see that ns is equal to 1 here and ds is equal to s plus 1 so we can write s plus 1 plus rho times 1 equal to 0 Remember that rho is equal to kp in this case. So this is the characteristics equation that we have. And for this equation, we can uh, just uh, set up our ROS uh, table. So for S1, S0, the ROS table that we will have, will have these uh, elements at 1 and rho plus 1. And if we want to have our system by boy stable, we should have all the elements in the first column of the ROS table positive, so we will have rho, rho plus 1 bigger than 0, which means rho bigger than minus 1. And this will be 
the result so we need to have kp or rho bigger than minus one in order to have our bible stem stable so that's all for this uh, example just remember to send me the root locus for the same system using MATLAB for both positive locus and negative locus. Compare your results with what we had here and send me uh, your results by email.